Organizers say they received hundreds of prayer requests, texts from people sitting in their vehicles tonight. Those vehicles spaced apart outside Freeman Coliseum. That's right. It was the setting for the first of two Pray SA events. There's another one happening next Sunday. Tonight, as the night team's Jesse Gigliotto tells us, the prayers were not only for themselves or loved ones, but also the greater good. Lord, we pray that you would come like this wind. Pumped up by prayer. Here we are, we're humbling ourselves. We're Organizers and volunteers get ready for the night ahead. We call on the name of Jesus. As vehicles streamed in for the first of two Pray SA events. Thank you, God. We There's another one next Sunday when even more are expected to be here. I think people are just hungry for help. They're hungry for help. And, and, and so people want to pray. It's an un unprecedented. It's overdue. It's time for this to happen. Not only here, but everywhere. When it's time for God to call his church home. A large scale multicultural ecumenical gathering in a country that many say has been divided too long. We just weren't really dealing with it. We weren't really having a conversation, especially as churches. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what religion you are. We just want God to bless everyone in our city. We're going to enter into a season of prayer. Whatever request or need that was texted in went out to everyone out there so they could all join in prayer. God's going to use San Antonio to bring true revival. Many asking for peace and unity. I think we just need to come together as one because we are one nation united under God. So we need to put that into practice. I think he'd, he'd say, I'm so thankful that you're finally coming to me with all your questions and burdens. Jesse DeGollado, KSAT 12 News.